alcohol and here to some portions related to mathematics that we did in the last session. So first question says that the motion of a particle along a straight line is described by equation that is x equal to k plus 20 minus t. Now in this question we need to find the retardation of the particle. So for retardation we need to have the velocity and velocity is nothing but del x over del t. So we basically need to differentiate x with respect to time. So this will be 12 minus 3t square. Now velocity is actually 0 in this case. So velocity is 0 can give us t value. So when you solve this, you will get t equal to 2 seconds. We actually get two values that is minus 2 and plus 2. We need to ignore minus 2 as t can't be negative. So now we need to find acceleration. Acceleration is nothing but del v over del t. So we need to differentiate v with respect to t. So this will be 12. No, not 12. It will be actually minus 6 minus 60. Now, as you know, we have t value as 2 seconds. So that gives answer as minus 12 meter per second square. So the right answer for this case is the deep part. Let's move on to the next one. So in this case, it says the velocity of a projectile at the initial point A is 2y cap plus 3j cap meter per second. Its velocity in meter per second at point B. Now, as you can see in figure, the velocity in the x direction is actually same. The component s domain is actually unchanged in x direction. But if I talk about y, it is in negative direction. So that means my y is actually changed. So the i component is to y cap only. And the y component is changed to minus 3g cap. So my right answer for this is the second one. Now the third one says a stone falls freely under the gravity. It covers distances h1, h2 and h3 in 5 seconds. Let's find distance covered by the stone in 5 seconds first. And carefully it is actually under gravity. So that means my h1 is half g5 square using this formula s t plus half a square so this will be half g by five and for the second half for the second half it will be 10 seconds 5 plus 5 will be 10 no. so i will take it as h1 plus h2 so this will be half g 10 square. That means 100 g over 2. Then for the next 5 seconds, it will be 15 seconds. I will be considering h1, h2 and s3. So this will be half g 15 square. That is 2.5 over 2. Now we have three equations. If we solve these three equations, we'll get our answer. So first of all, I will be putting the value of h1 in the second equation. So it will be 25g over 2 and h2 equals 100g over 2. So my h2 value will be 75 over 2g. That is actually thrice of h1 because if you multiply 25 with 3 that gives us 75. Now we need to find the relation between h3 and h1. So by putting the value of h1 plus h2 from the second equation into third equation will give you h3. So the h3 will be 100 over 2g plus h3 equal to 25g sorry 2 over g. g so h3 will be 125 over 2g now we need to relate h3 and h1 
So if I relate H3 and H1, H1 is actually, uh, sorry, H3 is actually 5 times of H1. So if you relate these three equations, you will get that H1 is actually equal to H2 over 3 and H3 over 5. So the last option is the right answer. Let's move on to the next question. The next question says a projectile is fired from the surface of the earth with a velocity of 5 meters per second and angle theta with horizontal. Another projectile fired from another planet with a velocity of 3 meters per second at the same angle follows a trajectory which is identical with the trajectory of a particle projectile fired from the earth. The value of acceleration due to gravity on the planet is so first of all we need to find y equal to x tan theta. First of all I need to write equation of trajectory. So equation of trajectory is this. Now as the question says that we have equal trajectories and if we have equal trajectories that means g over u square is the constant value. So as per question we have g on earth is 9.8 and u square is 5 square and g dash g dash i'm taking as acceleration due to gravity on the another planet and this is 3 square so after using cross multiplication method you will get your answer as 3.5 meter per second so this is the both this is the answer first one Now we have another question. So the another question says we have position coordinates x, y at time t equals to 0 and 6 meter, 7 meter at time t equals to 2 seconds and 13 meter, 40 meter at t equals to 5 seconds. So we need to find average velocity. So first of all, I will write t equal to 0 and the position vector for the same. So r1 cap will be 2i cap plus 3j cap. For t equal to 5 seconds, we have r2 as 13i cap plus 14j cap. Now, we need to take displacement. So displacement is nothing but r2 minus r1. So this will be 11i cap, 11j cap. And average velocity is nothing but displacement over time. So del r over del t. So del r is 11 i cap, 11 g cap over 5. So the last option is the right answer. So that's the end for the kinematics part. We will continue with the second one in the next in the next video. Thank you.